Genius Kids. Cultivating love for learning. Chapter 5 The Story of Olympic. The origin of Olympic Games can be traced back in Greece. The Greeks would organize religious festivals to please their gods after every four years. In these festivals, general sports events were also held. Olympic Games, which were organized in the honor of Zeus, the king of Greek gods, gained popularity with time. The first known Olympics were held in 776 BC in the Stadium of Olympia. Initially, it consisted of only one event a race completion of 180 meter, later on more events were included. The pentathlon, which consisted of five events, the long jump, discus throw, javelin throw, a sprint and wrestling, was added to the competition in 680 BC. Boxing became a part of the games in 688 BC and a four-horse chariot race was added in 680 BC. For many years, the Olympics were meant exclusively for male contestants and male spectators. The Olympics were held every four years. The four-year period between two successive Olympic Games was called an Olympiad. The Olympics were essentially religious affairs for the people traveling to and from Olympia. To the Greeks it was important to win and any unfair practice was punished by a fine. Gradually, the Games lost their reputation, especially in 100 BC, when the Romans conquered Greece and the contestants became interested only in winning money. Finally, in 393 AD, the Olympic Games were abolished by Emperor Theodosius. No Olympics were held for more than 1,500 years. An earthquake destroyed the Stadium of Olympia in 500 AD, and a landslide later buried the ruins beneath about 20 feet of soil. Happily, the memory and ideals of the Greeks' Olympic organization did not crumble with the ruins of Olympia. In 1875, a group of German archaeologists excavated the site and discovered the ruins of the Olympia complex. Word meaning Exclusively, with all other excluded, unfair, not just, abolished, put an end to, ruins, severe, destructions. The discovery gave Baron Pierre de Coubertin, a French educator, the idea of organizing a modern, international Olympics. Gobberton believed that athletics played an important role in forming a person's character. He also thought that an international sports competition would promote world peace. In 1894, Gobberton presented his ideas to an international meeting on sports. The group agreed to organize the Games and formed the International Olympic Committee. Two years later, that is, in 1896 the first modern Olympic Games took place with great glamour in Athens, Greece, in the Panathenaic Stadium, which was rebuilt by the Greeks in marble from the 2000-year-old ruins, with a capacity of 70,000 spectators. Women first competed in the modern Olympics in 1900. The Olympic Games consist of the Summer and Winter Games. The Summer Games are held in a major city, whereas the Winter Games are held in a winter resort. Both the Games last for 16 days. The Olympics have normally been held every four years, with both the Summer Games and the Winter Games taking place the same year. Beginning with 1994, the Summer and Winter Games were scheduled to occur on four-year cycles to years apart. Colorful ceremonies combine with athletic competitions to create the special feeling of excitement that surrounds the Olympics. The opening ceremony is one of the most colorful pageants to be seen anywhere. Greek athletes are the first to march into the stadium, in honor of the original Olympics held in ancient Greece. Other athletes follow in alphabetical order determined by the spelling of the name of their nation in the language of the host country. 
The athletes of the host country enter the stadium last. The head of the state of the host country declares the games open. The Olympic flag is raised, trumpets play and cannons boom in salute. Hundreds of doves are released into the air as a symbol of peace. The most dramatic moment of the opening ceremony is the lighting of the Olympic flame. The altar of the Olympic flames is in Olympia, Greece. The flame is lighted with the convergence of sunlight onto a metal reflector at the altar in the Temple of Hera, four weeks before the start of the Games. This process is a part of a ritual that includes the prayer to Apollo, the sun god. The high priestess enters the stadium holding the lit torch, which she hands over to the first runner in order to start its long journey across the countries. Thousands of runners take part in the journey. They represent Greece and each country that lies between Greece and the host nation. Planes and ships transport the torch across mountains and seas. The final runner carries the torch into the stadium, circles the track and lights the Olympic flame. The flame is kept burning until the end of the Games. This custom started in 1936. At the opening ceremony, the words of Baron Pierre de Coubertin are displayed on the scoreboard. The important thing in the Olympic Games is not winning, but taking part. The essential thing in life is not conquering but fighting well. The Olympic symbol consists of five interlocking rings that represent the continents of Africa, Asia, Australia, Europe and North and South America. The rings are black, blue, green, red and yellow in color. The flag of every nation competing in the Games has at least one of these colors. The Olympic motto is City Saltis Fortis, faster, higher, stronger. Word meaning Ancient, olden, symbol, mark, sign, ritual, a customary procedure, interlocking, locked together. Like, share and subscribe.